first started, it's just a hobby. We used to bring the donuts to our family for functions. I want to be independent. I don't want to ask money from my parents. So I talked to my sister and said, let's make a business selling donuts. So that's how it started. At the moment, we have 13 flavors from just the normal icing. We call it original, Nutella, cinnamon sugar, vanilla glaze, Oreo cheese, red velvet cheese, brownies, matcha glaze, tetar glaze. My most memorable memories for their micro bootcamp would be so when we meet a lot of friends with the same, you know, mindset of doing starting a business, and then meeting, you know, seeing them, their courage, their ideas, which we learn about, you know, the essentials in this doing business. Okay, so my business is mainly on Instagram. So before I went to the bootcamp, I only have about 200 followers. After that. Right now, we have 1,200 followers, so that's why one of the knowledge that they taught us is how to do marketing, how to you know, make efficient marketing so that you just, you're not only posting on Instagram, but then you are attracting people to buy your products. And from the financial side, I can actually reduce my cost from 50% from to down to 3% from buying from the right source. So I had one point different types of minimum herbal drinks, I need. So, setiap minuman ini ia provide with different benefits and then cater to different illness as well. Like kunci sirih, ia sesuai untuk minuman orang yang lepas berana. And then for kunyit asam, ia sesuai untuk cleanses the blood for those yang ada menstrual cramp. As for beras kencur, ia ni sesuai untuk those yang ada macam sendi-sendi, those people yang ada rheumatism. Dan lastly would be minuman badang jahe. Ia dapat memanaskan badan, dapat reducekan flu, rasa demam-demam. And then ia juga dapat menolongkan those yang people yang ada depression, dapat removekan all that stress from body. By joining this their micro bit camp, it opened up my eyes. Dari sana macam you know your weaknesses, and then dari sana you will belajar along the way like what are the things that you need to improve yourself. Bakery with Love is a home-based bakery uh, yang awal-awal membuat bisnes ini adalah mama. Jadi ia mula-mula membuat bisnes itu bermula dari minat. Apabila minat itu ia membuat orang pun merasa kan. Jadinya uh, spread word of mouth. Uh, orang pun mula tak order. Jadi kami pun zat untuk menjual untuk raya itu. Jadi orang pun mula membalikkan Ramadan. Sebelum micro business bootcamp itu, saya sebenarnya kurang pengetahuan dan kemahiran mengenai bisnes lah. Jadi melalui dari sana tak banyak mempelajari membuat lean business plan yang akan ajar oleh coach kami ya. Dari sana juga kami pelajari untuk setahun itu apa yang perlu dibuat, macam mana kan market bisnes satu, macam mana kan buat advertising untuk bisnes satu, macam mana kan buat sales dan yang mana kami pelajari macam mana kan proses untuk apply logo atau apa trademark, kena ajarkan untuk membuat accounting, mengira si OGS. Antaranya juga kami ada belajar pitching. Yang last kali kami ada enam bulan monitoring oleh coach-coach itu lah untuk mengetahui singan mana lah progres kami itu. 